The blessed don't beef with the miserable. That's law. Back up, back up in my face a little bit too much. Hello? Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl or Nelly here, Nelly Nels. Nelly with the jelly, oh shmoney, oh tea galore. And we are back with another video. Happy New Year. We are currently nine days into the new year and 2024 i said in 2024 we were making shit shake and nine days in has it's only been proven that shit is shaking so <laughs> but anyways let's get serious so it is 2024 i know everybody and their mother want to be an influencer want to grow on social media all that good stuff and there's nothing wrong with that like everybody knows being an it girl you gotta grow you gotta grow your socials a little bit so i've been doing social media for a year and some change now i've been on youtube for a little minute now and it's time to really take growing our socials serious because personally for me i'm not greedy like i don't need twenty thousand million subscribers followers like i don't need that but the reason why I want to grow my socials is just so I can have more variety of brands that I want to work with. Because personally, I want to give you guys the best brands. Like, I want to work with and promote the best brands to you guys. Like, I don't want to be just getting these chopped liver ass brands just because my following is low because you know what my following does not define who i am i already know i'm an it girl but it's time that we prove it to these brands and unfortunately before you can prove it you kind of have to have the numbers you gotta stand on business you gotta prove that you're really that girl so this is my master plan on how to grow a following or how we're gonna grow a following in 2024 all right so let's get into how we're gonna grow these individual platforms so first we're gonna start off with instagram i'm gonna insert like my instagram pages just so you guys can see like what i've been posting like what i've been doing what my instagram look like like you're probably like your fucking instagram is trash that's why you're not growing no it's not my instagram is cute like i think is very is very cute like i would follow me if i was y'all and y'all should go follow me but yeah i feel like visually my instagram is appealing but we gotta get that almost 600 we gotta get her to a thousand so that's the goal is to get my instagram to at least a thousand followers because man i've been stuck under 1k my whole life on instagram like i cannot grow on instagram for nothing i don't know why but i feel like for instagram i need to stop taking content that does good on tiktok and thinking that it does good on instagram for instagram i have to make shorter content like 10 seconds that's what all the instagram gurus are doing taking just like little clips and just posting it and having it be educational i feel like educational content does the best on instagram so that's gonna be my strategy for instagram is also planning my content out more for instagram i'm gonna plan my posts I, and I want to niche down even more so I feel like out of all my platforms I really want to niche down on Instagram and really make like literally just the same type of videos and I feel like for Instagram I want to tackle more of the content how to become a content creator or how like ways to grow a following i kind of want to push that more on my instagram more so than even like the beauty and the lifestyle because i feel like instagram there's a good audience for that and i'm already doing it 
so i feel like that's what i want to focus more on instagram is just like that kind of becoming a creator influencer type of timing and also like i have to just post more short form content 10 seconds educational using the caption that's another thing that i know is really good on instagram is long captions that helps with ceo all that good stuff so that's my master plan on how i'm gonna try to grow on instagram tiktok is a beast but i feel like i've been doing good on tiktok but i feel like what would help my tiktok page is definitely creating a series also niching down i feel like will help a lot for me but i feel like especially a series where i'm like posting two to three maybe four videos a week about the same series i feel like that would help me a lot um definitely niching down my content a little bit more like just you know the handful of the same videos from me of course they still gotta be cute they still gotta be entertaining but just being known for something specific because i feel like my tiktok has been all over the place i feel like i've in the last year i've niched down the most i ever have which is good and which is why i have the following that i do but definitely more advice videos more just trying to reach like my black girl audience like yeah i feel like that would be definitely helpful for tiktok for youtube shout out to my youtube gang i'm sitting at like 660 um subscribers on youtube shout out to you guys make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you like my content but for youtube i feel like i finally am at the point where i figured out what my problem is for youtube so oh, y'all could definitely take this advice i had been posting uh, really consistently in 2023 like probably that's probably my most consistent year overall on all platforms which is why i've been gaining an audience but just not a large audience but at the end of the day an audience is an audience but i feel like for youtube my main problem is is that i post a lot of vlogs vlogs are cute or whatever but nobody cares about me and rightfully so i wouldn't care about me either who are you so my strategy for youtube is i'm still one i'm gonna i kind of am doing okay with posting um once a week but i feel like amping it up to twice a week would really help my channel but i feel like posting one kind of motivational self-improvement just like a video of value one video of value a week and then a vlog i feel like that would help my channel really good because if i'm posting videos of value that will be helping you guys but then it's like in a couple days if you subscribe then you get to see a vlog and that's where you guys get to see me in my day-to-day -day life and those are for the people who just really connect like with my personality and things i like to do and want to see what i'm up to so the girlies that like my educational content then they can go ahead and go to my vlogs and watch you know get really get into the tea the everyday nitty gritty good stuff and also posting um youtube shorts i already post youtube shorts but i kind of there was a good like three four five months where like i really wasn't fucking with youtube shorts so getting back onto posting youtube shorts consistently will also because that's where i got youtube shorts is where i got a good majority of my subscribers is through youtube shorts but i feel like making videos where you get subscribers like you like long form content is better than getting your subscribers from youtube shorts because i feel like people who actually like your long form content they're more likely to watch more of your long form content and again like youtube shorts is great but i feel like you gain that genuine connection and genuine audience through long form content 
so that's really where I want to gain a bulk of my audience from you guys Mwah. but I feel like YouTube shorts is a great way to you know get those numbers in and do what you need to do so my goal is I really want to get to um a thousand subscribers hopefully soon this but definitely this year I think that's very possible for me and for Instagram, I didn't tell you guys the number I want to get to there. But I really want to get to 10K on... Did I say Instagram? I meant TikTok. On TikTok, I want to get to 10K. And I feel like that seems like a far reach because I'm like barely even at 2K at this point. But I feel like if I stick to my strategy, I will get there. And I want you guys to try out these strategies too and let me know how you guys are doing maybe we'll do a check-in like maybe three months to six months from now and see where we're at we'll see what the update is and then you know we could really get into the nitty-gritty see if these strategy work and yeah that's pretty much it i love you guys so 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 much make sure you guys are following me on my other socials so you could see the growth and we can all grow together there's a space for everybody in social media so don't let the fear of being seen stop you from creating content and doing what you need to do stand on business there's a place for everybody but again i feel like social media is changing and you just kind of have to find like your place don't try to be monet i love monet but don't try to be here be yourself and i feel like that's where you're gonna you know be the happiest it's because you don't have to you don't have to try to be nobody else like just be you and find out what works for you find out what you like and boom you're there anyways i love you guys so 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 much and i will see you guys in the next one Mwah.